All right, so where I'm at right now is the front of the mitt is all glued together to the coyote hide. Okay, so I left about as much of a seam where it's not glued just so that I was able to handle it when I did glue it. I didn't uh, have the footage of the glue up. It was in my garage and it's cold so I didn't bother doing that. Um, I just used barge glue. It's a flexible glue that doesn't stiffen up. Okay, And uh, it's it's really really smelly. Um, definitely do it in a well ventilated area or else <laughs> you may pass out. <laughs> but anyways, um, but the glue does dissipate off the mitts you know in about a week or so. Uh, so yeah, it's not really a big problem for the smell factor. Because um, with my hat that I I did earlier on, I did the seams with uh, barge and uh, not a problem. Strong flexible glue and I just didn't want any issues because if I didn't do that I'd have to sew all along here okay and there would be kind of I would, I'd be able to pull it apart these two pieces I'd be able to pull apart so it'd be kind of floppy and I didn't want that to happen so we're on the next stage now so I'll be attaching the, the bottom mitt to the top of the mitt so you can kind of, kind of get a gist of what it will look like all right so, but there's going to be a seam here. So how we're going to be doing that is just remember good side to good side. All right. So this is going to be the good side. Okay. Good side. This is going to be the good side. So we're going to be sewing it this way. And then we'll be turning the mitt inside out afterwards. That's just to hide all the seams. You don't want that unsightly st string that wax string on the outside and a great big seam. So we'll do the old uh, flipping it inside and out. So the biggest obstacle that I will be having is making sure that everything is lined up because it's kind of hard to see where it's lined up along the sides here. There's so much fur, like this is insane. <laughs> Look at this. And stuffing it into the mitt all right, and line everything up. So basically, I'll just be combing back here the whole time. Right, so I'll be stuffing all this hair inside there. You know, use a pencil or scissors, just like that. So I'll be doing this the whole time. So basically I'm on the home stretch now so it's not so bad, but all the while I'll be making sure it's all lined up. Alright, one thing I do want to say, when you are cutting out the coyote hide with the template, right, so you're just going to lay the template down on the coyote hide and make sure that when you are lining it up that the guard hairs are exactly down the middle. Because if the guard hairs aren't exactly down the middle, it just won't look right. Every time you look at your mitts, you're going to be thinking to yourself, man, did I ever screw up. It's one of those little things. Um, just like when you're painting a wall in your house, and if you didn't cut in properly, you'll always see it. Or if you were doing the mudding and taping, and you see a seam through where the drywall is, you're always going to see it. Um, nobody else could probably see it, but you're going to see it every time you sit down and watch TV or whatever. So, and also when you do decide, or if you decide to glue the fur, okay, on to the fur material, you gotta make sure that you do some practice runs. So you're gonna be flipping the hide up and just lining it up perfectly. So you're gonna be lining it up where these two ends meet and it's just gonna fall onto the fabric. Because what happens with barge is both sides, so the first side and the hide side, what's going to happen is you're going to be applying barge on both sides, okay? And you'll let it set for 10 15 minutes, right? And then you're going to apply both pieces together. Now, with barge, once it goes down, it stays down, right? There isn't much 
recovery. So you got to line it up, do some test mock trials of it, line it up with both sides, because once it goes down, it stays down. So you're basically going to get what you get. So uh, that's just a word of advice when you do decide to uh, glue two pieces together. All right, so now where we're at is we're going to be sewing these two pieces together, right? So what you got to remember is good side to good side, right? Because we're going to be turning this inside out. So good side to good side, all right? So this side is going to be just like this, right? So we have good side to good side. And <laughs> as you can see, this is going to be a mess sewing this, but it, not a big deal, whatever. It is what it is. So we got to stuff all this hair together. Now this first, now this first stitch is going to be the most crucial because if it isn't totally centered, then uh, the glove is going to be uh, wonky, right? It's going to be uneven, and you may not notice it right away, but when you probably get to around here, it's going to start bunching, and it just won't be fluent. All right, so I'm just going to do that right now and uh, figure out where center point is. All right. All right, I'm in the process of making my first stitch. Right now I just got this little uh, clamp just to hold everything straight as best I can. All right, so everything's aligned the way I think it should be. And hopefully you can see this here. All right, so, so what I'm gonna do right now is stuffing the fur into the mitt as much fur as I can. I don't want any, um, uh, like a whole bunch of hair sticking out of here because what will happen then is if uh, I have a whole bunch of hair missing from the seam, you could see the seam through the fur, but I don't think that's gonna be a possibility with this fur. This is crazy. But uh, this is the process I'm gonna be doing here. All right, so I got the speedy stitcher ready to go. All right, so I'm just gonna make my first, first seam here, so. Probably go a quarter inch, give or take five eighths, and yeah, that should do the trick. All right, with the first stitch, this is going to be a pain, I think. Wow. Yeah, this is not going to be fun. All right, so we just take the string all the way out okay before we just make a loop then we stick the tag in through the loop and tighten down but with this for the first stitch we just establish that first stitch all right and there we go but as you can see now <laughs> I need to push more fur in okay that should do the trick I don't want to miss the fur, so yeah, good. And then this will be the very first one. Okay, good. And that will establish that guideline. Okay, good. All right, so I've gotten about this far so far, and now I'm approaching the thumb. And with the thumb right now, I'm just making sure that I tuck this thumb inside of the glove as much as possible, just so that I don't end up <laughs> sewing the thumb uh, to the mitt. So I'm still continuing to line everything up, making sure everything is perfect. All right, uh, where I'm at so far, I started at the tip of the mitt and worked my way all the way around. Okay, then I hit the thumb 
portion, okay? And I moved about two inches down past that, okay? And then where I've started is where I left at the tip, and I'll work my way all the way around, past here, to about an inch. That's just keeping everything aligned, all right? So if I started all the way down here, work to there, I wouldn't really have much flexibility to adjust everything down to the end of the mitt. Okay, so that's where I'm at so far and now, yeah, like I said, I'm just going to take it all the way to there. Alright, so the glove is pretty much finished here. As you can see, I s sewed up along the sides here. All right. And then uh, once that was accomplished, I turned the glove right side out and just fed the top through the bottom and pulled it out. And this is uh, the result. So I think it turned out pretty good. Um, pretty satisfied with it. Uh, the inside of the glove is wide enough right over here because I'm just going to wear a thin glove underneath this right so all I have to do is just pull it out and then I'll, at least I'll have a, a thin glove to fit in here and here is the first side of it so pretty happy with that she's going to be a warm pair of mitts so we can just give a final combing Yeah. All right, just a couple of the things I still have to do with the mitt. I still want to fold this piece of fur over and sew it up on the end here. Okay. And same thing with this piece. I want to take this piece. This piece is a little bit longer than this piece. Um, I'm going to be putting in a uh, probably a leather shoelace and then uh, it'll be dangling maybe about this far just so that I'll ha have something to tie the two gloves together when I'm not using them so they don't one doesn't go missing and then I'm going to fold this guy over like this to match the other side just like this result and a nice finish and piece so I'll sew that up too I didn't want to bore you guys with that addition but me telling you should be enough so yeah sew this piece over this piece over and then it's done so overall it worked out pretty good the only thing I would have done differently with this mitt is make this portion wider. So maybe another 5 8 a side. Okay. When I made the sides originally, all the way along the exterior, the template itself I thought was going to be wide enough, so I didn't bother putting on top of that a 5 8 seam allowance to both sides which now I should have but I thought it was going to be wide enough because when I have a few layers of clothing on this is like right now it works great if you just wear her in a sweater or in a shirt or something like that it's it fits perfectly but once you have like a, a couple other layers and a winter jacket this is just going to be a little bit too tight. So right now I got a little bit of room but I probably would have made it a little bit wider so as it flares out extend it to a 5 8 seam allowance on each side. Now I don't think I need much more room up here though okay just to where these meet okay um, with another video that 
I'll be putting out is the is the template measurements, the pattern measurements, and that I'll talk about that in that video. Um, I'll be making that after whitetail season, so uh, uh, till then, it won't be too much longer, I don't think. Hopefully, hopefully I'll luck out tomorrow, but we'll see what happens. So yeah, um, I'll be making a template uh, video, so all the measurements will be in there, and then you guys can make yourself a pair of these mitts yourself. All right. I still got to do the other mitt, so any other things I missed on this video, I'll probably end up putting them in another one. But uh, yeah, here you go.